Bridget Howard here alongside Air Force head coach Ryan Cole. Coach, you're taking home the third straight men's team title. What was the plan for the men here today? Uh, be really patient. I mean, when you look at the conditions of the race, we knew it was going to be a patient run. Uh, but you still have to stay engaged and then just be prepared for it to be hard because I think when you're patient sometimes, like, okay, then the race picks up midway and it's just easy and all of a sudden you don't have your legs and you start getting a little uptight. So we want to be patient and have great poise. And I think the guys did that today. The men stayed at the front of the pack and then that final 2K loop really kicked it into gear. What did you see from them on that final loop? Uh, really, I think the result of being patient early so that they did have their legs at the end and that helped them finish it off. And yeah, I think there are a few spots over the, the last 300 meters or so we wanted to move up a little bit, but uh, you know, Colorado State ran really well today. Um, Utah State had their whole group of five right there at the end, so we knew that was going to be a battle, and it's a good conference. And so you just you, you come in, you want to execute your race as best you can, and you hope it works out, and uh, we were fortunate today it did. Sean Mason finishes first. He finished 10th last year, and he also is now the second Air Force male athlete to take home an individual title, the first since 2013. What did you see from him today that really made you proud? Um, I'm really proud of how Sean handled the situation. Uh, we had five or six guys that we thought on any given day um, could compete to win. Uh, but we found out yesterday that Sean's twin brother, Scott's not going to be able to race the rest of the season, and Scott's a senior, and he was one of our top five guys a couple of weeks ago. Uh, that was pretty hard for Sean, and so I told him after the race, you know, you, you get emotional about it, and he gave him a hug. Uh, I said, there's no better way you could make your brother proud by going out and doing what you did today. So I was extremely happy for Sean, and uh, it's, it's a little tough with Scott. Uh, he's a huge part of our team, and he's going to do whatever he can to help us moving forward this season, uh, but that was extremely just, just awesome to see from Sean. Sean, and I know Scott's really proud of him. You mentioned Scott being one of the seniors on this team. You've got quite a few this year that have been with you from the start. Yeah. How proud are you of this group and the way that they were able to come out and leave their mark in their final Mountain West Cross Country Championship? Very proud. But as I was running across with about 600 meters to go, I was running with some of our freshmen who up here cheering them on. And I reminded those guys, you know, senior year comes pretty fast. And so you uh, you buy into it, you continue to work, and hopefully over the next few years, you know, some of those freshmen are seniors and we're having a similar conversation. Uh, but I'm very proud of this senior group. Uh, they've, they've done a great job for our team, but we have a lot of guys that contribute to our culture and our success, and so I'm proud of all of them. Well, Coach, congratulations on your third straight men's team title. Go celebrate. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it.